Hi, this is June here. I'm at uh, my mom, my mom's um, garden. It um, really feels good here, eating raw living foods and being in a garden. So, um, the, let me tell you at this point that this series of videos, living food videos, is inspired by food as oneness, all life supporting each other as one as all. So today I want to share with you um, fusion cuisine version of not stir fried super veggies. Um, it's fusion cuisine because um, there are ingredients here that is not sort of it, uh, from that did not originate from Asia. Like for example, the fennel, um, the thyme, the thyme leaves, the fresh thyme leaves you see but of course the mung beans and the ginger uh, and the peanuts um, they and the sesame seeds they are all Asian so I call it fusion cuisine so all you need is one cup sprouted mung beans one eighth cup fennel chop one and and a half tablespoons ginger chopped one and a half tablespoons jungle peanuts chopped one fourth cup red bell peppers one half cup romaine lettuce pinch chopped fresh thyme leaves or you can put uh, dried powdered version um, one tablespoon ground golden flax seeds one tablespoon Bragg's liquid aminos or nama shoyu or any of your favorite soy sauce salt and pepper to taste just of one lime pinch of cayenne pepper or more if you like <laughs> pinch of cinnamon powder I love cinnamon so I usually put um, more than a pinch one teaspoon honey or agave one tablespoon ground sesame seeds one tablespoon unrefined sesame oil you mix all ingredients and serve with a bread or a rice dish um, if in if you're into raw foods uh, serve it with a raw bread or raw rice recipe that um, you can find also in my website so um, let me show you the finished product This is the raw stir, not stir fried um, veggies, and this one is the is the um, medium rare cabbage burger that I that I also uploaded in um, one of my videos. So let me taste it. This is not very spicy, but it's good. But if you like spice, it, it's spicy. You can put um, garlic, a lot, a lot of garlic and onion. Um, I cater for vegetarians, vegans, raw foodists, and people on a sattvic diet, which um, they don't use garlic, onions, or mushrooms. But then, um, if you like them, go ahead, um, put them the, in your food when you prepare them. And of course, I eat it with the purple super, the purple corn super bread. Mmm. So. Um, when I ate that, I sort of realized something. That even if we are so separated in terms of having different kinds of religions, different kinds of cultures, if we um, 
focus on that something that makes us um, I mean our similarities we're similar in the cellular level in terms of our, our, how our cells work right we all eat food uh, even the even the breatharians eat some some a little bit of food okay we all consume oxygen we all breathe bottom line is we all breathe okay so um i'd focus on the similarities and um when we do that we we sort of tap into that um something within us that is in all life which is like the life essence and that is free free that is free that is eternal that is infinite and it never change so so there you have it just look for that common fundamental basic um, particle or fundamental truth in all life I'll leave you with that for now and um, please visit my website at www.vegetarianoneness.ning.com where vegetarians, vegans, and raw foodists meet as one. Bye for now.